Land Rover has built a reputation on making hardcore off-road machines. The Series 1 through 3, Discovery, and Range Rover have crawled their way into the hearts of enthusiasts who would rather go over a mountain than around it. The LR2, however, is not one of those machines. Despite the LR2 being equipped with Land Rover's terrain response control and the fact it can wade in 20 inches of water, the LR2 will probably never set a wheel in anything more extreme than the odd dirt road. The LR2 falls more into a subsegment of modern Land Rovers that are designed more for the on-road crowd, similar to the Evoque and Evoque Coupe. And for 2013, the LR2 has been substantially restyled inside and out. It now features the Evoque's 2.0-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine that replaces the old 3.2-liter inline-six. It develops 240 horsepower and 250 pound-feet of torque, which is up 10 horsepower and 16 pound-feet over the old 6-cylinder. A 6-speed automatic transmission sends power to the Haldex all-wheel drive system. Mileage is officially rated at 17 miles per gallon city and 24 miles per gallon highway. Both are an improvement of 2 miles per gallon over the outgoing 3.2 liter engine. The LR2 starts at a price of $37,250, while the HSE, seen here, checks in at $43,795 thanks to options like navigation, 19 inch wheels, and cold weather pack. Inside, the 2013 LR2 comes standard with a 7 inch color touchscreen, leather seats, and dual sunroof. The materials used are a mix of good and bad. The steering wheel and switch gear are of quality material, but the dashboard and door coverings both seem a little too downmarket for a $40,000 crossover. On the plus side, the boxy shape and low belt line provide great sight lines all around. Throw in the dual sunroofs and you have a nice airy cabin. Despite being the second smallest Land Rover, there is still 36.4 inches of rear legroom and 26.7 cubic feet of rear cargo space. For those wanting to utilize the 3500 pound tow rating, there's a feature called Hitch Assist that's integrated into the backup camera that helps guide you to your trailer and shows you where the hitch ball is located in relation to the back of your vehicle. The LR2 was designed with on-road performance in mind and here Land Rover has succeeded. The ride is smooth and similar to the Mercedes-Benz GLK 350, but despite this chassis that's designed to swallow up bumps perfectly, it still handles fairly well. Now this isn't as sporty as say an Infiniti EX37 or an Audi Q5, but it also doesn't suffer from the harsher rides. The 2 liter engine does suffer a bit from turbo lag, but once the boost builds there is a lot of power. Plus, it is quieter than BMW's X3, which also features a 2 liter 4, and it doesn't make the unusual noises that crossover does. Despite being down a gear or two to most competitors, the 6-speed automatic in the Land Rover is actually a fairly smooth unit, and it will provide quick downshifts in sport mode, which was unexpected in a vehicle like this. The LR2 does match up well against its competitors in categories like size, price, performance, and content. The one area it does falter though is fuel economy. This is one thirsty crossover and is actually rated worse than even the Mercedes-Benz GLK with the V6 engine. That fault aside, the LR2 is still an attractive alternative to the usual European crossovers. Plus, it features a pedigree that they could only wish they had and it has styling that is just oh so Land Rover. That alone may be worth the price of admission. For more on this review and others like it, visit autoguide.com.